Good morning, everybody. Today is a big, big, big day for this uh, little boy. Right, Peter? <laughs> he's, a, he's just a smidge nervous right now because today is supposed to be the day that the cast comes off. Three weeks ago at his last appointment, um, his orthopedic doctor said that they would do an x-ray today and if everything look, looked good and looked like there was good healing, today would be the day that the cast would come off. And so we're gonna head in, we're gonna see what, we're gonna see what happens. Well, do you have a smile? What are you feeling? What are you feeling right now? Happy. happy. I'm so happy for you. I do. So we're gonna keep this on. This is a good bandage. So this bandage we're gonna keep on for about five days. And then after that, he has a, where is it? Maria's wearing it, but he has a wrist brace. So then he's going to do the wrist uh, brace. I, I think do. you have it on upside down, sweetie. I but do. the wrist brace is going to go no, on it's right side for up. six no, weeks. It's nope, it has to down. go on the left hand, and then this actually goes underneath here. What? Yep, there you go, just like that. I do. Three chocolate and one vanilla, correct? Yes, please. Okay, put cream on the top of those, okay? Sure. All right. So I have the four shakes, is that correct? Yes. There you go, Maria. Uh, for me. Manners, still. you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. And then for mom. All right, so it's like 20 to two right now, and I'm just going to make a black magic cake. So I made one of these cakes not too long ago, and actually kind of a funny story is that Warren was watching that video, they had it playing on TV, and as soon as he saw the footage of me making the black magic cake and like frosting it and stuff, he started looking over in the kitchen like, where, where's that cake? <laughs> and I said, Warren, remember this was filmed like three weeks ago. He's like, yeah, yeah, but I want a black magic cake right now. So anyway, that was a little while ago. And last night when I was cleaning up though, there was some coffee left in the coffee maker, in the coffee pot. And so I just put it into a canning jar here and um, I was like, I'm gonna make a black magic cake for him tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna get a black magic cake going. And I do have to get that out of the oven because we're gonna have to leave. So I wanna get it in quick like. I'm not gonna show you the whole rundown because I've shown it before. And But I will link to that video where I do make it. And I'll also uh, link to a recipe in the description box if you wanna know how to do it. I don't think I mentioned to you guys that we did um, schoolwork before. So we're working on um, moving beyond the page. That's the curriculum that we use for, it's like a mixture of social studies and science. I really, really like it. I have had a couple requests to do like a full review. And so I think, I think I'm gonna try to get that filmed here soon. Cause I know a lot of people are already starting to look towards next school year and what they might want to do. And so I thought if I could get a review out, you guys might um, appreciate that for those of you who homeschool or are thinking about it. Anyway, um, before when we got home from the doctor, I had to be on a very long, or it was not a long phone call, but it was a long wait. And so I had come back to my bedroom because oftentimes what I'll do if I have to do one of those calls where you're gonna have to wait on hold for a long time, I just put my phone on speaker, set it down on like my side table or whatever here in, in my bedroom, and then I just work at cleaning up my room. So I took the sheets off my bed and I was changing sheets and the call, you know, the, the lady picked up and I forgot to come back here. <laughs> so I got distracted for like the last three hours or four hours or whatever it's been. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm back here while the while the cake bakes and I'm going to uh, finish making my bed and Joe just collected laundry a little bit ago. That's his morning job. That's kind of how late our day is going here. It was just kind of weird having to get to Peter's doctor appointment by 8.45 in the morning. 
So uh, our whole day is just kind of a little bit shifted, which is just kind of weird. So, all right, so I'm gonna make my bed and then probably do some laundry. And I also am just kind of thinking about what we're gonna do for tonight's supper. I don't know what it says on my menu, but whatever that is that I don't think that's what we're doing we're going to do um, oven fried chicken tonight I have some chicken thighs thawed and so um, I just have to decide what we're going to do with it I kind of thought maybe instant mashed potatoes we haven't done that in a while we've done homemade mashed potatoes homemade french fries and like roasted potatoes we've done that kind of over the last week or two we just did buttered noodles the other night to go with it, or to go with our um, our mini roasts. I don't know. You guys are probably hollering things going, make this, make this, you could do that. And I wish I could hear you all because I could just use a little dinner inspiration right now. Side dish, that's what it is. It's not the main course, it's the side dish. God, I'm always at a loss for what to do for side dishes other than just applesauce and pickles, <laughs> which I'm sure my family gets tired of. I have to be honest with you guys, sometimes when I'm doing these just sort of like daily vlogs like this, I think, is there anything even exciting happening today? Is it even worth it to do a vlog? So I have come to the conclusion that the reason I do these daily vlogs like this where I just kind of whatever is happening is what I film is because I am very, very aware of like FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. And um, it's become very obvious like through the news and just through like different articles and things I read that people are very, very, um, that there's just been, there's a lot of anxiety that comes from social media. And I'm very aware that I am, you know, carving out an income <laughs> through social media. And so I do think that as, someone in social media here, I do have kind of an obligation as well to you guys to not just show you that every day is just so exciting and, you know, we're just doing all kinds of fun things, but life for so many families is just like mundane. That is just what it is. You get up, you go to a doctor appointment, you do some school, you sit on hold, <laughs> listen, waiting for, um, you know, an answer for whatever it might be that you're waiting on hold for. You do some laundry, you cook some food, you change some sheets, maybe you water some chickens, you whatever, you know, you make some plans with your husband as far as maybe trying to get out of the house once in a while, whatever it might be. But that is just life. We just kind of, I think we all have those types of days. Not I think, I know. I know everybody has those types of days. And if we get in the habit, I think, uh, for me, I know as a creator here, if I get in the habit of only showing you guys like the exciting days, the days where we're like off gallivanting and taking a bike ride here, or we're, you know, just doing like what might seem like something exciting or vacationing to Duluth or whatever it might be, I think, if that was the only thing that I were to show, I would run the risk of people maybe not understanding that sometimes life is just mundane, like I said, that, and you're not any different than me in the sense that you have days that are just kind of boring and just the same old, same old. And even days that might even be worse than boring. Days that are filled with anxiety, days that are filled with depression, days that are filled with um, whatever it might be, financial problems, that not every day is going to look like just like a beautiful, beautiful, super fun and exciting filled day. And so that is, I've kind of like come to that realization that when I'm, you know, because sometimes I think, I know Warren and I have had, I'm just like stammering all over my words here right now, but sometimes Warren and I have talked about this and I'm like, 
I'm just showing them that I'm making my bed. Why am I putting this out there on the internet? That is just almost seems just so crazy to me sometimes. But I do it because I just want, um, I, I really want young moms and older moms too. But I really want young moms who might be watching to understand that it is okay to have just a regular at home day. It's okay to just have doctor appointments and reading some books to your kids and cooking a little food and making some beds and that's okay. Those kinds of days are just as important as the days where we're out and about doing really really fun things. So all right I'm going to <laughs> do the fun task of sorting laundry and get some laundry started and then probably go and make sure that Maria is doing her pages in her skills book. Here we go. One load for today going in the washing machine. <laughs> So I've always been under the um, understanding that, you know, when you bake like a bundt cake or something like this, or a loaf, you know, like quick bread or something, you should leave it in for about 10 minutes or so before, uh, you know, trying to release it to a wire rack. The last time I made this though, I think it ended up sitting in here for about 30 minutes and it came out perfectly. So I'm actually just gonna leave it here. It just came out of the oven here. It was in for 45 minutes today and I actually have my oven door open just standing here because the heat feels so good. And I'm just going to let it sit here for 30 minutes. It's probably going to actually go a little longer because we have to run out of the house for a couple minutes. But anyway, uh, and then I'll come back and take this out and hopefully it doesn't stick. Last time it came out so, so beautifully. I was so happy with that. So all right, we're going to do that and then I'm going to put some frosting on it. Warren said, make sure you put the frosting on like you did last time. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Well, bummer. It's stuck in just a couple little locations here this time, but Sam said, well, it was good for me because I let him uh, eat up what had stuck into the pan. So anyway, we're just going to cover this up with some frosting after it cools. It has to cool all the way, uh, but while it cools, I have some chicken here, and so we're going to be making uh, oven fried chicken tonight. And as you see, it was one of my $2 off chicken packs. I'm always, always searching for those when I do uh, run into Aldi because I like, I mean, $3.41. This is a lot of chicken. This is going to be well over the amount that I need for my family tonight. I'm going to put one cup of flour into my paper bag. I'm going to do two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of salt, and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm not gonna measure the pepper. I'm gonna use a larger cookie sheet pan because I just know that those chicken thighs are not gonna fit into a nine by 13 pan. So I'm gonna get my butter melting. All right, so I put the skin side down. I thought that there were actually 12 in that package, but there were only nine. So actually, I think this is gonna be just about right for us. Well, there might still be some extras. All right, so I'm gonna get this into the oven. I am going to give them a little bit more space then because they will brown up better if they have some space. And I always put them in skin side down for 30 minutes and then turn them over skin side up so it really crisps up that skin for another 30 minutes. Yeah, that was Sam just scaring the lights out of me. 
he loves to do that to me. He loves to. And I see I'm still wearing my, my little uh, face mask hanky. But it actually kind of keeps me warm. I kind of like it. It's a rainy, rainy day. So I want this frosting to kind of like run down the the sides of the cake here, but I don't want it to be so drippy that it all just drips onto the cake plate. Cake plate. So what I'm going to do, I added, I just put a little dollop here first to just kind of practice, and it's really just sitting there. So I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. That dripped a little bit more than I wanted it to, but that's all right. We will uh, all happily, I'm sure, scrape that frosting right off the plate and put it onto our cake. This is just a cream cheese. I think you probably saw I put some cream cheese and butter, vanilla and milk and powdered sugar until I got it to the consistency I wanted. And now, just like last time, I have some green sprinkles that I'm just going to sprinkle all over, let them kind of run down the cake sides. Woo! Ooh, I'm gonna have to sweep. There we go. And that is a black magic cake with frosting. So to go along with our instant mashed potatoes tonight, I just made some quick pan gravy. So I just want to show you a really fast way to make gravy uh, when you're making the oven fried chicken. You can just take your pan, you know, I just took the chicken off, put it on a plate to keep it warm, and then all of the pan drippings that were in here, um, I just left them right there, put this on like number yeah. three on my stove, and then I kept some of the leftover flour from shaking the chicken and I put it in here and then I just added some water and I just kept stirring and stirring brought it to a boil for a few minutes you know you almost you really want to cook that because you don't want that uncooked flour flavor and the uncooked flour from doing the chicken so anyway I just just keep on whisking and whisking around it actually really cleans the pan nicely too and makes it a lot easier to wash so this is just really flavorful because it has all that paprika mm -hmm. all the paprika and salt and pepper it makes a really good gravy just wanted to share that with you guys thank you yeah nice supper there joe hi so this is how everything is looking we have chicken and the instant mashed potatoes we have some salad fixings the cooked carrots. Ah, uh, there should be ranch dressing someplace. Oh, and thanks. then the gravy and little extra toppings for the salads. Thanks. You want gravy? Yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, so supper is all done. Everyone was just finishing up their after supper chores. Uh, Sam had to go to religious ed, but um, Peter, he always unloads the dishwasher. Now that he has his cast off, it's funny because his wrist is kind of just tender. You know, it's wrapped in that bandage. And so I helped him with dishes. Maria does the sweeping and Joe washes off the table and puts away like the milk and stuff like that. So, all right, I'm going to just sit down and take some time to do some editing now. And I'll usually each night, I also print off any uh, cookbook shipping labels that you know any cookbooks that have sold that day i print those labels um in the evening so that i can get the labels on because i usually what i've been doing um for a few weeks here now is i do a shipment on monday and then i do a shipment on thursday so tomorrow's thursday so i've been collecting labels um monday night and tuesday night and wednesday night and now all of these are going to get shipped out tomorrow. And then I'll start collecting labels um, from anything tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And those will go out on Monday. So, all right, that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> so while I've been editing, Peter and Maria have been taking plastic eggs <laughs> and filling them with candy. Are you guys having a candy picnic or something? Yeah. First, we're playing Easter Bunny. So first I was Easter Bunny, 
then Maria wants to be Easter Bunny. So I'm going to be the Easter Bunny one more time, and Maria's going to be the Easter Bunny one more time. Okay. And then we're going to have an Easter Bunny picnic. Oh, I see. So they've been hiding all over here while I've been working. They've and been just they hiding the Easter eggs. <laughs> they can only be in the school room. Oh. But I'm going to make a deal with Maria that they can, now they can be in the school room and porch. I see. Okay. I am going to put up a couple other videos that you might be interested in if you like this day in the life style videos um, and just kind of hanging out with our family, seeing how, you know, just seeing how another family does things. <laughs> so if you are interested in that, you're going to want to click on one of these videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.